Prepare for the next market crash to bring these all-star stocks down to more reasonable valuations. Any stock can become a value stock. Buy these three value stocks when the next market crash brings them back to earth. Synopsis. The chip equipment maker is seeing unprecedented demand from AI and is priced like it too. T-Mobile. The largest mobile carrier is using its premier position to raise rates, which could send its valuation lower. Netflix. The movie streamer is one of the only profitable and growing services, putting its stock's valuation into the nosebleed section. Let's dive in. Correction Collection, here are the three value stocks to buy when the Nasdaq nosedives. Welcome to Timely Investment Research. Is this the beginning of the end? After a tremendous run higher over the last year and a half, the Nasdaq exchange is pulling back from recent highs. Inflation and interest rate jitters are gripping the market again. The Federal Reserve published its Beige Book Report, which reviews economic conditions in the 12 different bank districts. It showed that consumers were cutting back on spending and the economy was showing anemic growth. And 8 out of 12 districts showed minimal, if any, job growth. This is why all eyes will be on the Fed's Personal Consumption Expenditures Price Index for April, which is due today. While it will be viewed to see if action on inflation shows improvement, economists aren't hopeful. They are looking for a 2.7% increase, as seen in March. These data points indicate little hope that the Fed will cut interest rates soon. Atlanta Fed President Raffel Bostic recently said, We still have a ways to go before rates are cut. In contrast, Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari said he wants many more months of positive inflation news before agreeing to cut interest rates. We will be stuck with high interest rates for a longer period of time. It could cause the Nasdaq to nosedive. The best we can hope for is to find a cornucopia of value stocks we'll be able to harvest. Because the market has been riding so high, a market crash will finally make our favorite stocks affordable. Here are three value stocks to consider when that happens. Number 1. Synopsis. Investors might know Synopsis is in the semiconductor industry and regularly hits new all-time highs, but they might not realize exactly what it does. Essentially, it verifies that semiconductors from chip makers such as Advanced Micro Devices and Intel, its two largest customers, work as they are designed. It provides electronic design automation software engineers used to create and test integrated circuits. The artificial intelligence boom has sent demand for Synopsys electronic design automation software skyward. Fiscal second quarter results showed revenue rose 15% from last year to $1.46 billion, sending adjusted earnings to $3 per share, 26% higher than the year-ago period. That allowed Synopsys to raise its full-year revenue guidance to $6.12 billion at the midpoint from its previous outlook of $6.09 billion. It now expects annual adjusted earnings between $12.90 and $12.98 per share from its earlier guidance of $12.86 and $12.94 per share. Synopsys is also in the middle of a transformational acquisition of ANSYS, which it purchased for about $35 billion. Synapse's stock isn't cheap at 62 times earnings, 14 times sales, and 80 times free cash flow. A market crash could make this high growth stock a value stock again. Number 2. T Mobile. Telecom giant T Mobile is another hot stock that is routinely setting new highs. Trading at $170 per share, that is its latest peak. While it goes for a fraction of its projected long term earnings growth rate, other metrics like price to earnings, price to sales, and price to free cash flow suggest it still trades at a premium. T Mobile has more people covered by its 5G network than anyone else, and late last year passed rival Verizon as the largest US carrier. It's possible that could change as it implements a new rate plan optimization program to hike customer rates. It is looking for the change to increase revenue from postpaid customers by 3% this year, though it could also limit customer growth. Coupled with a Nasdaq market crash that would cause its stock to tumble to more reasonable levels, investors could have a good value stock on their hands. The carrier and its shareholders will be better off as T-Mobile improves the business's long-term health. Number 3. Netflix Movie streamer Netflix is the following value stock to buy when the Nasdaq nosedives. It is becoming a common refrain here, but Netflix stock is closing in on the all-time high it hit during the pandemic. While it suffered a setback afterward as so many movie studios and content sites launched their own streaming channels, Netflix is turning into the last man standing. 
it is also only one of a very few that is profitable. Netflix makes it look easy. Last quarter, it brought on 9.3 million new subscribers, far surpassing the 5.2 million analysts expected. Disney added 6.3 million new customers to Disney+, Plus, but only because it partnered with Charter Communications to allow some Spectrum TV customers free access to the streaming channel. Even so, Disney has 117.6 million customers globally compared to Netflix as around 270 million. A downturn might be welcome for Netflix investors. It trades at 45 times earnings, 8 times sales, and 40 times free cash flow. Bringing it down from the stratosphere would make Netflix stock a nice value stock to buy. Thanks for spending some time with us today, Timely Investment Research. We're so glad you did. If you found value in today's video, please give us a like, hit that bell icon to never miss an upload, and hey don't forget to subscribe.